Hi, Jeremy Young here, Atomos, NAB, almost finished, but we've got some pretty cool stuff to show you. This is the Sumo 19. It does record ProRes RAW as of today, or well, as of two days ago. Pretty cool format, you should definitely check it out. But a lot of those Sumo customers, they're, thanks for your support and buying the product, we've added in the ISO records and are very close to finishing the switching as well. So I just wanna show you where we're up to um, and say, hang on for, for another couple of weeks. So first of all, there's a, on the UI, you've got ISO record. If you've got multiple inputs and you can see all of your green inputs here, they'll go gray if, if there's no input there. And I'm monitoring one channel at the moment and I can see which one because there's a, a circle around the number two, so I'm on channel two. I can switch between those individually on the main monitor or I can go into monitor mode, which is a quad ISO view. And what, what, what this is, is telling you is when I hit the ISO record down the bottom, which ones am I going to record? I can turn those on and off. They'll go green for the, if you're going to record them and gray if they're not recording. So let me record these two, but not these two. So then I hit record and now I'm recording these ones, but not recording these ones. Now that's ISO record. That is not a programmed switch. So the next set of implementation, oh, and by the way, if, if I want to go in and just look at any of those, I can go in and look at the individual by panel, or I can be down here. And you can see it, it's indicating channels one and three are not being recorded, channels two and three. Sorry, channels one and three are being recorded, channel two and three are ready to record, but have not been selected. So while that's recording, I'm going to go back into the monitor section, and you'll see this green bar. So that is a, a, a cut, metadata cut switch. And what, on the switching side, we're just finishing the implementation of a slider or a hard cut. And so you'll choose where you want to go, you'll know which ones you're already recording, and then you'll hit slide and the transition will be in there. The cool thing that we're doing on switching is that we're making a, an XML multi, um, multi-cam project that goes directly into Final Cut and that will open up with all of the same program stream that you've already, um, you've already switched to with all of the files available in the background, the ISO files, all from one cool little unit. And the other thing I want to talk about is uh, our new Atom X range of accessories that are built to give you kind of some nice control panel type functionality where I can sit here and play with the unit just like you would want to on a, on a table or a desk. So imagine you're sitting here, all your cameras are out there and you're controlling the whole infrastructure from there. And then you can cruise in and you can put all the waveforms and different monitoring functions for each of those feeds and then you can switch back into quad view and get all of the data coming back. So just to show you again, you choose the ISO you want to record, very simple, Atomus style, very easy to use and I want to record all of them. So I'm recording four channels of 4K P, of uh, HDP60 and when the switching version is out, um, that'll be about six weeks away. So in two weeks you get the ISO record, another month away is our switching. Now that we've finished ProRes RAW and we don't have the qualification cycle with Apple, that took quite a bit of manpower to get, to get going, so we can finish all that. But you can see that I've got peaking on for all of my, um, and if I go back in here and turn it on again, then you'll, you'll see all of those same peaking functions across all four images. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, NAB's almost over. I'm probably gonna fall over at, by the end of the show. That's switching.